about 750 meters away. Now I've got a bit of a navigation dilemma. This is insane. It's all right for some. <laughs> Top of fanfare. Fan, fanfare, fanfare. I'm getting goosebumps now thinking about it. Look at the size of that thing. This is just fucking horrible. <sighs> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I'm about to set off to Wales. Just got some fresh snacks from the bakery. Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, I'm just going to drive from London to the Brecon Beacons route march, uh, 40 miles, or, and then uh, drive back to London in time for work on Monday. What about you? <laughs> I'm really uh, buzzing right now. See you in the hills. As I start this route march, I know that this is a pipeline. The only way to get out of this is to get to the end. Right, that's the Taliban Reservoir. We're on our way now. Well, my friends, this is the terrain. I'll be seeing a lot of boggy with grass pollen. So I'm wearing my, my heaviest hiking boots just to give me that maximum stability. Mindel, Mindel Guffets, which is the extra wide version of the island. They're heavy, it's such a uh, long tab but the trade-off is that you get maximum stability and comfort and it just reduces the chance of injury So far, I've climbed 600 meters. Right, 
right. The MK7 has been absolutely brilliant today. I mean, I started with probably 53 pounds and I have to say it is such a comfortable pack. It's only, the weight's only gonna go down because obviously I've had, had my boil in the bag dinner tonight. I've been drinking my water. Uh, there's so much water around. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna continue to carry seven liter. I've got a bit of a navigation dilemma. So I'm going up to Jacobs. And I've never been to go up Jacobs. Um, so I'm going to have a scope around Penny Van, South Wales. So if it's good ground, then yes, please. And I'm leaving the path behind. And because there is no checkpoint at the top of Penny Van, so there is no need to go to the summit. I have decided to go off piste, so to speak. Right, so I have found what appears to be a sheep's trail. Let's see. So that's brilliant news. Right, because I went off piste, I have uh, overshot a bit. And it means I'm going up a steep field full of clumps and it means I'm going just straight up a hill this is insane well you know what they say time doing recce is seldom time wasted I'm glad I'm learning these lessons doing a recce where I've got all the time in the world rather than in September when it's the event. I'm sure it's gone up fucking Jacobs. <laughs> At the moment it's uh, getting the miles in. And it's the only part of the route where it's lucky there's a burger van. This red phone box just beyond that. Yeah, there it is. Brilliant. 
glorious Welsh flag on top. I shall be ordering fried eggs or fat cheese. I've got those sausages that I will have some of them. I've got that as well. Right. Now that's not bad, is it? And there's a chair. Some sobering news about the weather though. The lady in the burger van uh, thinks yeah, visibility is going to be crap all day. And she's here every day, so she knows uh, what the weather's like here. And she said if by this time it's as thick as it is now, then it, it ain't going anywhere. So we've got a work cut out for today. But first, first things first. Right, that was lovely. Restocked on drinking water. So I've got four litre divided over two containers topped up. And now up the Cambrian Way. Water here, this looks really good quality. Lovely amaretto cookies from the bakery, pork pie. You never see me with gels or anything like that. I'd rather eat something I actually enjoy eating. Visibility is a lot better. Cleared up. This is really nice. We'll be camping up there tonight. Bit of a dilemma. I don't know how I'm going to get across. So I cannot, for the life of me find a gate either side right found a place to cross and there's one opposite right so I've just climbed over boggy elephant grass the journey continues water to boil in the bag and I don't want the faff of uh, putting food in my uh, jet oil and I'm shattered. 
So I've already had Indonesian style chicken. Now we have all their breakfast. I'm going straight to sleep. I'm absolutely shattered. And I'm going to get the last leg done. My feet were cold, so I've got some food on board. So the body starts burning fuel, and yeah, my feet are already warmer. Drying my gloves, my mitts. Morning, folks. Absolutely soaked. <laughs> so we've got clean, warm, dry socks. But uh, yeah, the inside of the boots is completely soaked. Well rested. Gorgeous. Amazing. Have you ever noticed? Love over gold, the Mark Knopfler song, the Dire Straits song, and private dancer are a bit alike so I'm humming I'm humming a song and I'm not sure which one I'm trying to hum so it's love over gold and sin for money do what you want me to do so that last bit is private dance so it is a Mark Knopfler song and he wrote for Tina Turner but then and it's love over gold that's another song you know you're over 50 when you're humming, when you find yourself humming Mark Knopfler songs. <laughs> so that is the Stradif Reservoir. I'll be honest with you, I have no recollection of being here. First time I did endurance. But I also know I'm heading in the right direction from my uh, map reading. So there's a real sense of exploration <laughs> it's just sheer joy and I'm um, keep getting Mark Knopfler music pop into my head <laughs> like uh, remember this one da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 that's from a film. Did it have Pete Postal White in it? Oh, if it didn't, it should have done. <laughs> So there's a river, and I'm going to have to find a way across. And I think it's over there. So Charles Beckwith would have walked here in 1962 as a young exchange officer, an American. And it provided him the inspiration for the 40 miler that every Delta Force CAG candidate makes to this day.
Well, whoever thought hiking <laughs> is boring, think again. Go and play video games instead if you want. And we're gonna get across. So that is the joy of good quality Gore-Tex boots. Jobs are good. <laughs> what a fantastic test of character. You're on your own. Nobody's watching. Cross country, straight up a hill with a backpack. The never ending hill. That's where I can. Down and up. But guess what? Walking up to the imaginary DS. Hello mate. Pushing up my point on the map, where are you? Here's your new grid reference. Show me where that is. What route are you planning to take? How long do you think it'll take you to get there? Those should be the questions I get. Top of fanfare. Fan fanfare. F fanfare. So it's a penny van in the distance. So where I was camping was, was way over there at that that hill in the distance. So there you see the granny path going up. And then the parking lot below. Now we're not going anywhere near that anymore. We're heading for the infamous VW Valley, which I'll explain a bit more once we get there. Now you could be forgiven for thinking <laughs> I've got admitted to jungle phase. But this is, this is also hill phase. Uh. Right, time for a break. Love Welsh cakes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this next section onto the infamous VW Valley. So I remember this is the darkest part of the one time I did endurance before. As in one is actually night was falling. We'd set off at about 3 a.m. 3.30 that morning. By the time I got here it was sort of September time coming on to the end of the day. Uh, and there was a moment where I was really, yeah, that was my moment of part of your body and mind saying, I, 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 I cannot continue. And I then remember <laughs> another amazing feeling that came from the completely other side of my brain that said, Ferdy, you're having an adventure. I'm getting goosebumps now thinking about it. Because the thing is, even if I wanted to be in it there and then, where would I go? Absolutely in the middle of nowhere. One guy that was up ahead, chalky, he was just saying things like, on me, mate, on me, and just set in pace. And I mean, there was no way, the way out was the way onward like a proper adventure you're in the shit it's really it was pitch black then I had a head torch which was failing um, you know you're talking your adrenaline's pumping you're at the end of the rope 
and this wonderful sense of that this is proper adventure. And I think that moment, that's when I fell in love with these events. So I realized I need this. I don't get this in an office job. Real adventure, physically challenging, mentally challenging adventure. And yeah, I've never looked <laughs> back since, mate. So here again, no chalky to guide me. Thankfully, night will not be falling. Because it's only about midday on a Sunday. All right, friends, the time has come to talk about VW Valley. Jules moment. Look at the size of that thing. So this is VW Valley. And it's straight down, straight up. And it's called VW Valley. It stands for Voluntary Withdrawal. So, now this valley is a feature on a number of the test marches that UKSF candidates do, especially in the latter half of the Aptitude Hills phase, culminating in the Endurance Test March. And more than any other feature, this valley is for most candidates voluntary withdraw. Let's get VW Valley done. I'm actually looking forward to this. I, you know, got strong hill legs. Game on. This is a hard slog. It's not, it's not stressful. It's not like you're not sure where you're going. It's only one way up. Am I really the only one? Going up and down feed up your valley on a Sunday. On a lovely Sunday afternoon. <laughs> it's a bit of a niche what we do, right? It never ends. Now, I don't think there's anything I could say that would do this sacred place justice. men whose names we've just seen during their lifetime when I've passed here on the way to the next checkpoint in their efforts to defend our freedom. It's a special route honor to walk it. Endless distances through boggy clump, clumps of moss and grass and 
all you've got is your bearing. So the end point of my march is the Talibot Reservoir. Now that's not it. It's actually a reservoir behind that. There it is in all its glory. The time that it's slipped up to. Crappled around for it. Just the best tabbing snap. Knock on wood. With the excellent visibility, the conditions seem less boggy today than they were here in September 22. So, so far. Thankfully, not as bad as I remember it, but it would have made a big difference that it was absolutely pitch black when I was last uh, here. That is both legs. I had to put the other one in to get out. Uh, yeah. This is just fun. Clubs, as far as the eye can see, and I need to get to that corner of the tree line and then hang a left. Get to the corner and guess what? <laughs> it doesn't get much easier. It's actually that corner. So it's actually that corner. Now it wouldn't be a proper event in Wales without a bit more rain now, would it? Crossing the reservoir. And on to the last leg. And my battery is down to uh, less than 10%. Turns out one power bank probably wasn't enough for, uh, for a sort of a two and a half day track. Got some water from the reservoir for the last leg and then I'm going to put one of these, I've done it before on the route, uh, one of these tablets in there for purification. This last leg is still 12k so yeah it's a uh, not to be underestimated but given that it's a recce I'm just going to take it as a bimble my battery's down to about six percent. Uh, this is uh, yeah, just a mind-numbing tunnel, mile after mile. It's a cheeky bit of scenery. The last time I was here, it was at night, I didn't see anything. I had no idea what was to advise me. It's so funny to walk here in, in, uh, in daytime. You know, I, I was in such a tunnel vision. And you've got your uh, head torch, so you're pretty much night blind. And also because of the fatigue. Well, my phone died in the end. And I made it round. My car was there waiting for me, untouched after, you know, better part of two days, two nights in a little parking bit by the, um, by the start point. Even my Garmin, even my Garmin died. Which is a first. But I think it's apt, you know, it means that the last 10K were just for me. No spoilers. If you are ever going to do this route, then yeah, if you expect a bimble, 
you might uh, there might be a little surprise for you there if you've watched this far thank you very much uh, do consider liking and subscribing and as always see you in the hills